Hi everyone, I'm Kaden, and welcome back to Stardew Valley. Now in the last episode, we planted some new crops. They were the beans and the kale. We got mail from the wizard telling us to come visit him so he can tell us what those rats in the community center were. Even though we all know that they weren't rats. And we also did not get Linus his seaweed. So unfortunately, this delivery is gone and we can't do it any longer. But anyway, it's sunny today, so we are going to have to be watering our crops. Let's see what the weather is going to be for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day, which means again, watering our crops. Oop, no, don't move the TV. Let's see. Are we going to be lucky today? The spirits are in good humor today. I think you have a little extra luck. Now that's not the luck that we want for the geodes. For the geodes, we want to be showered in luck. So what we're going to do today instead is we are going to go do the, the mines. We should be able to get enough copper ore and enough coal to actually make a furnace. Again, trying to move the TV around. There's a new episode of Living Off the Land. Alright, let's see. Let's talk about fences. Fences are useful for keeping weeds at bay and protecting your crops. They also let farmers contain their livestock. Fences break, out, break down after a while, but stone, iron, and hardwood fences last a lot longer than basic wood. Who'd have thought? Stone, iron, and hardwood last longer than regular wood. Anyway, let's get started work on today. Let's uh, water these crops. Let's get, these. get some more water first. Now these parsnips look like they're coming in just fine. And this potato looks like it's ready. It is. Awesome. Let's see if we get an extra potato out of this. Now that was a wild seed so any potatoes we get from this are pure Profit. Nope, just one. Go ahead and water these. These are the beans up top with the roll the wooden poles. And this is the kale down below. Now the beans will actually uh, keep producing after the first harvest. So it's gonna take ten days. So on the seventeenth, which will give us 11 days after to keep harvesting the uh, beans. Uh, these are the wild forage seeds. So they're going to be anything of the wild forage type. Like that. It took all of our, all of our water. So let's go ahead and put this away actually. Let's go sell this real quick right in there. And then let's check on this furnace recipe. Furnace, we need 20 copper ore and 25 stone. So what do we have right now? We have 28 copper, or we 28 stone, so we have enough stones and we have 16 copper ore. So all we need to do is find 20 copper ore, or four copper ore, yeah, we need to get Four more copper ore. So let's head on over to the mines. Let's actually go this way. Let's go up to the north. That's a little faster. And as, as soon as we get these four copper ores, actually, no, we'll spend a little time in there. But we needed to check the community center, check for birthdays. So his birthday is coming up. We got one pine cone. That's how we're gonna get one pine cone. Anyway, this is a little faster route over to the mines. There's Linus. Sorry, Linus, that we didn't get your seaweed. The crisp air of the wilderness is all I care to know. That's good to know. Now let's get on down to level five. We actually did unlock that in a previous episode. Let's jump right down in there. 
the lower we go, the more copper ores we should be able to find. And it actually doesn't look like any on this level. Let's go fight these. We do need to fight and kill a few more of these. Or I think all of them. Uh, let's see, initiation, there it is. Yeah, we still need to kill nine more. Then we get into the Adventurer's Guild. Which, uh, it gives access to more weapons, some armor, and other items as well. It also comes with, uh, if you... This crab, let's go take him out of his rock, see how... How tough he is then, yeah. Like a cower in a little corner. It looks like I'm chopping him small little bits. Man, that was brutal. Anyway, they give us little side quests in the Adventurer's Guild. And we will earn rewards if we finish them. I believe one of them is kill a thousand slimes. I know that's a huge amount. So that may take us a while to do. Right. Now in the mines we can actually break the what's some coal. These big rocks, but anywhere else outside of the mines we cannot break the uh big rocks until we upgrade our mine pick. Let's kill this guy before we go anywhere further. Well, I just need four more pieces of iron. Iron, copper. I'm thinking of Minecraft. <laughs> Oi. At least we have the the uh, ladder right there for us. We can get down quickly. We don't have any copper here. Let's get this. I think this is going to be a topaz. Yeah, a topaz. And we gave one to uh, Gunther already, so we can sell this one. Or we can give it to someone. Let's see if um, Maru actually likes topaz. I'm not sure if she does. I hope so. Otherwise, I could have just sold it and made a lot more money from it. Let's see, let's three more copper ore. Don't need that right now. Inventory full. Here we go. Here's at least two more copper. There we go. Now, hopefully, as long as that one gives us one more, which it will just give us one more. What are you doing swinging that way? We can uh, go ahead and leave the mine since it is getting pretty late already. And we still have to go find Maru, give her a gift, uh, go over to the community center, go find the wizard. And there we go. Oh, it actually gave us two more copper ore. Alright, let's go ahead on out and go visit Maru real quick. And hopefully she likes this topaz. Let's see if she's home. Hopefully she's not in her room because we don't have any hearts with her yet. Yeah, not yet. We've got, got a leak. Uh, let's go and actually let's go ahead and throw this out. Get this. It's a little more important. So hi to Demetrius real quick. Maru helps me out in the lab sometimes. She's a good kid. Let's see, she is. Well, there's Sebastian. Maru's brother. Maru is not in her room. She's not in the lab and she's not in the kitchen. So that means she might be on her way home from. Oops, sorry, Sebastian. From working at the clinic. Let's see if we can catch her on her way home. Then we'll head straight on over to the wizard. We'll follow this yellow brick path right here. We'll be off to see the wizard. The wonderful wizard of Stardew Valley. And Abigail. Let's see. Oh, we got a quest. There's Caroline. I'm not sure where Maru is. I wish Abby wouldn't spend so much time in her room. Well, what is she doing in there? Actually, yeah, I was going to say, Maru may be sitting on the bench out here. Let's go say hi. 
Whenever I'm struggling with technical problem with a technical problem, I always take a walk. Yeah, it actually helps you know going to clear your head. It's surprising how much a change of scenery can help. Yeah, I I agree. Now, do you like this topaz? This is a super gift. Thank you. She really likes the topaz. Good. Now all I have to do is keep finding gemstones and giving them to her. And let's check out this quest. I'd like to put an earth crystal under my pillow. Please deliver it sometime today, Marnie. 150 gold and makes Marnie happy. An earth crystal. I don't know if I can be able to find that. Uh, tomorrow is I'm not going back into the mine today. Anyway, let's go off and go see the wizard. Now the wizard is going to be down to the south. We'll go through a little pathway that we made. It's actually starting to be overgrown already. Holy cow. But not too bad if we can still walk through that stuff pretty easily. Uh, the wizard is actually over this way. There's no yellow path to follow. No yellow brick road. Well, actually, while we're here, let's go ahead and clear some of this stuff out. The more we clear this, the more wild forge we'll get. And actually, while we're over here, and after we're done talking to the wizard, we'll check to see if there's any more spring mushroom, mushrooms, spring onions, in that one little corner ready to be picked up. There we go, and here's our little cutscene. Ah, come in. I am Rasmodius, seeker of the arcane truths. Mediary between physical and ethereal. Master of the seven elements. Keeper of the sacred cha. You get the point. And you, Kaden, are one of the. If I can read. And you, Kaden, are the one whose arrival I have long foreseen. Have you even talked to my grandfather? Here, I'd like to show you something. Let's look off into the little chalk circle. Behold. Hey, it's the rats. You've seen one before, haven't you? Yeah, the community center. They call themselves the Junimos? Genimos? Let's go with Genimos. Mysterious spirits these ones. For some reason, they refuse to speak with me. I'm not sure why they've moved into the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. I know, they just mock me. Make me sound crazy in front of the mayor. Hmm. You've found a golden scroll written in an unknown language. Most interesting. Stay here. I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. Was that spin really necessary? Get a disappear in style. And there he is. I found the note. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. We, the Genimo, are happy to aid you. In return, we ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the forest, then you will see the true, the true nature of this scroll. Smell the green smoke? Hmm. One with the forest. What do they mean? Sniff, sniff. Aha! 
Come here. I don't want to smell your green smoke. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? I don't want to smell it. I just told you that. Here, drink up. Let the essence of the forest permeate your body. Well, if you say so. Uh. Well, that tastes interesting. And I think I'm going to be sick. Yeah, definitely should not have drank in that. Time for my acid trip now. This green haze with the leaves and the tree. Three trees now. Four trees. Five trees. I'm becoming a tree, guys. So many trees, so many pine trees. Everything is swirling around. And then darkness. You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo, Junimo scrolls. And he kicked me out. He gave me an ass chip, then he kicked me to the curb. That wasn't very nice. All right, it's 7.30 in the evening. Let's get back to our farm and let's go ahead and craft that furnace. And I'm not, sh I don't think we're gonna, we're gonna have enough to actually make a copper bar tonight. Because we need five copper ore. I think we're gonna have one left over. Let's go ahead and go up to this way. We're gonna have to clear this area back out again. All right, let's go ahead and put the leak and the seeds away. The leak. Actually, you know what? I think we can make more of the wild seeds. We'll, we'll see in a second. So we need 25 stone. We can check for 25. And 20 copper ore. Let's go ahead and craft a furnace. Journal updated. Smelting. Now that you've built a furnace, you can smelt some metal. According to Clint's instructions, you place five copper ore and one piece of coal in the furnace, and it should produce a copper bar. Use your furnace to smelt a copper bar. That's going to have to be in a future episode. Alright. Let's put this right there. Alright, and... Oh yeah, we're going to go try and make that. Those seeds. One, two, three, four. I think that's everything that we need. Yep, that's everything that we need. Let's go ahead and plant those right over here. Yes. Oh, really? Sometimes this tooth doesn't really work very well. But we can, uh, since you are on a different schedule, oh, really? Anyway, different schedule than uh, these right here. We'll go make them over this way. So it's one, two, three, four, Five. Oh, there we go. It matches up perfectly with this right here. Almost like we planned it, right? Yeah, I planned it. Let's go ahead and put these down. And now we've got to water these real quick, and then we will call it an episode. So where's my can? There it is. Now this will be much easier once I get the sprinklers and the upgraded watering can. Let's go ahead and refill this real quick. And then tomorrow when we water our crops in the next episode, we're going to have to refill this halfway through, unfortunately. 
So I think I only sold one potato today. Yeah, so not much from the uh not much gold today, guys. But we got a bunch done, but we didn't go and check the birthdays. We'll do that in the next episode. We'll check it early in the morning so we don't miss anything. Alright, let's go through what we sold, which I believe is just one potato. Yeah, one potato for 80 gold. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please smash that like button. Even if you didn't like it, please go ahead and hit that dislike button. So any feedback is awesome. And as always, I'll see y'all in the next episode. Bye.